500, a little more than a week and a half away as we see Fernando Alonso. And the number 66, Papaya Orange McLaren back on track. Kevin Lee, Anders Krohn, Robin Miller, Dylan Welch on pit road. And Jake Query's going to step in in just a moment to join us as well. Anders, the track temperature's 100 degrees. Yeah. And, the, and it's 69 degrees. It can't get much better, can it? No, it's, it's absolutely perfect. It, it really is. And of course, a little bit of sun peeking through, so that helps generate that track temp. And just pounding in the laps will, will keep increasing that temperature as well. So really, really ideal conditions here. Oh, oh and a big hit there from Fernando, Fernando Alonso. Fernando. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa. Oh, dearie me. Yellow turn three. You okay, Fernando? Oh boy, oh boy, Fernando Alonso into the wall, picked up that dirty air You're from okay. the car ahead. He's moving around, uh, around inside the cockpit, which is obviously a great sign. Fernando, you okay? But this is exactly the same thing that we saw from Graham Rahal earlier with the front just kind of lifting up off the ground into the wall except uh, little too little too late for for fernando alonso as he good time. slams into the wall crawling out he's good Whew. well you always worry when he gets to the grass yeah you know, exactly the last thing you want to see A exactly and uh, he was quite lucky there with the angle of attack on the on the inside wall there when when he hit that and that he didn't then you know slide to the outside of the track and, and hit too hard so Another replay of what happened here for Fernando Alonso as he's behind Graham Ray Hall, who's been having those issues. So coming through turn three, just front lifts up off the ground into the wall. Oh, and straight into the inside wall there. And you know what? The actual impact, the first impact wasn't bad. No, just but, the right rear. But but it, it's enough when you have that sort of impact as we're getting another perspective here. It's enough and, and you see right away. So it breaks both the right front and the right rear uh, wheels straight off the car. So at that point, you have no control over the car whatsoever. And, and all you can do is, is take your hands off the wheel. Jake Query in here as well with Anders Krohn, Robin Miller, as we watch this incident with Fernando Alonso happening in turn number three. This is the north end of the speedway. And Anders, when you watch it, take me through here in the fact that, you know, he gets a little bit high and it just looked like not able to make the completion, obviously, of that turn. The contact not too severe on the outside, but then, of course, you're a passenger, right? Yeah, no, exactly. Nothing that he could do from the point of, of initial contact there. And I think the other thing that I'm looking at is he was directly in the wheel tracks of Graham Rahal. Graham, as we've seen, has had a tendency to, to run a bit high off the corners. And I think he was probably expecting that, that Ray, Rahal would be a little bit lower so that Alonso would get slightly more clean air on his wings. But as you can see, Graham Rahal already tracking pretty high here. So Fernando Alonso directly in his wheel tracks, picking up that turbulent air from Graham Rahal. So basically at no point through that corner did he ever have clean air on his front wings? And uh, obviously, here you can see right rear, right front, completely broken. Now look at that front right, Anders. When you look there and you see Fernando Alonso with everything that goes in once that impact took place, as well as, as you see there on the right rear, that's where the tires are tethered together to the car. You saw one of them wanting to come loose. This is a critical piece of what for years